Hello and welcome back to our RTS series. In the last episode we worked on our fog of war system and getting our nice fog now displaying in the game. Now let's put some functionality into our fog and hide enemy units and enemy bases from our view. First of all though, let's make it so our enemies and our enemy bases do not contribute to the fog of war. So we can go to unit base and on the tick event where we're doing the trace to draw onto the texture, we're gonna start gonna check to see if it's player a unit. So you're gonna drag out get player unit and put that into a branch. And if it's true, then it'll do the line trace only. So enemies won't do it. So I've got I took out the other ones to just make this easy to test. So here you can see like this building here being an enemy unit has not opened up the fog of war. Okay. So let's now go through and handle these collision settings. So the way this works is on our characters, on our unit, unit bases, we're going to have a sphere collision. And there it is. I'm going to make this quite big for a start. Let's try doing a thousand. Uh, it might need to be a bit smaller, bigger. You tweak this as, as you need to. Uh, but ultimately, you just make a big sphere like this. Then you want to go to its collision settings. And down here, we're going to change it from overlap to custom. And we want to ignore pretty much everything, so tick ignore everything. Fog though wants to be overlapped. And object responses we want on wall static, wall dynamic, and pawns to be overlap as well. Hit compile and save this. Now let's go to our capsule component of our unit base. And in here we have to tell this thing to overlap fog units. So hit on fog, like so. This allows it to then react to being overlapped by another sphere component. Compile and save this. So once we've got the sphere in place, we're going to again go into our event graph and we're going to set up the overlap events for this. So let's right click on the sphere, add event on component begin overlap. And when we begin overlap, we need to first of all check that the other actor is a player character or player unit rather instead. So to do that, we need to cast our other actor here to a unit based. So cast to unit base. And from there, we can get whether or not it's a player unit. I'm going to put that into a branch. If it's not a player unit, that means we want to make it hidden or revealed. So I'm going to take this act as unit base and do set actor hidden in game and plug that into the force there. We then want to do the exact same thing, but ticket true for end overlap. So right click on sphere again, do end overlap. And we're going to copy all of this, plug this in the actor and cast unit base. And then tick this box here for new hidden. Okay, so that's the first bit. The next thing we need to do is make it so that enemies ones do not it trigger themselves. Otherwise, what will happen is enemies will also open up and trigger each other, which we don't want. So on our begin play on the sequence, we're going to add another pin to the sequence. And then from there, we're going to do a simple branch. Branch check to see if we are the player unit or not. So player unit, get, plug that in there. And if that is false, then I'll turn the sphere collision to have no collision on it. So set collision enabled to no collision. Okay. And close this. So now if I hit play, we've got the enemy building over here. Walk over to it. And if I walk away from it, it'll disappear. Walk over to it, it'll reappear and then disappear. Okay. One little issue that we've got still in the game though is that when I push play and you can see I'm about to place this building, you can see it's how it's interacting with stuff here and also colliding with them. And also we've got issues with regards to that I'm basically unlocking the whole map by just dragging this around. So we don't want that to happen. Um, so we're gonna go into our unit building base, go to the tick event, and the parent tick, this is the thing that's handling the actual drawing of the, the uh, fog of war. We want this to be on this false branch on here. So let's just disconnect that, put that onto false, and then plug that back in. And now you'll see I can't 
paint the environment anymore. Okay. Now we've also got this colliding event going on here. So with that, we want to go to the building base again. And let's go to the begin play. And at the very start, we're checking we're not we're active. And if is active is false, which is what we are doing down here, we want to make the sphere collision have no uh, collision enabled. So set collision enabled and turn it to be no collision on the sphere that is. And but if it is true, we're going to leave it as it is. Um, and then when we place the uh, the uh, building, we have a uh, place building somewhere. There we are. We are going to just drag that around here and uh, yeah, da, da, da. yep, over here and get the sphere out again, set collision enabled and change that to query only. So now at start, hit play, this doesn't affect that anymore. Uh, collision, uh, sorry, collision is still affecting with the building mesh, but we'll fix that in a second. But now I can place this wherever I want. I click place and it will now unlock that part of the map. And my character over here can then explore and find the enemy base. So I just need to fix that collision issue quickly. And that's on building base. We're going to go to viewport and we're going to click on the building mesh part of this. And we're going to make them change their collision enabled to just query only. And then I'm going to go to the capsule component and we're going to tell this thing to ignore pawns. So we're going to do pawn ignore or overlap and do the same for our unit base actually. Just tell it to overlap pawns. Then back on the unit building base, we're going to go to the overlap for the uh, so the building mesh and go down to pawn and choose overlap basically anything related to pawns you want to make sure it's overlapping or ignoring it now when i push play my buildings will no longer push each other around places whatever i want okay the last thing we want to do is we want to make it so that buildings and enemy units are hidden by default if they aren't in view so that's simple enough. We just go to unit base and go back to our begin play where we're doing the collision on the sphere. The play unit is false, no collision on the sphere, and we're going to set actor hidden in game to be true. So that any building that's over here is no longer showing. Place this down, and if I go over here. It will now appear. And if I leave it in the shadow and go off somewhere else, you can see how it disappears. And there we have our complete fog of war system. And these same textures that are being made can be also applied to any UI elements as well because they are simply just masks. So if I go to UI, um, to fog of war, sorry, these are just masks as you can see. So uh, wherever you place them on top of the map, it will also be used as the map image for our HUD. Uh, that that will do there. And in the next episode, we're going to work on our enemy having actual control and building stuff and having the enemy actually have some AI to try and send to us and attack us and overall make up the whole game there. So you can watch that episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lady where you can catch all my video content before anyone else. I want to say a massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. If you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.